Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. My name is Brink, and um, I built this off camera just to break up the cold, because since I'm still touching them, um, I had something like 23,000, I'm down to about 7,000, uh, so it's working. Um, a side aspect of this that I didn't realize is that I collect a lot of XP from this. I started with, I don't remember, it was two, two buckets in here, 2,000 uh, millibuckets of XP. And this is as far as I've gone now, 183 buckets. It's picking up, and, you know, I was only getting rid of it. I wasn't thinking about it. I, I saw the XP floating around, so I figure, let me drop the drum that I took it from over there and put it on top of here. And uh, it actually turned out good, more than I expected. Um, so... After I finish with coal, I'll continue with the other ores. I won't do all of these ores because I get double the amount from the sag mill just fine. The only reason I'm doing it here, just wanted to try this because the electrotine, uh, which I've been getting as well in the quarry, is uh, fortunable. So you can get more than just double if you use a fortune 3 pickaxe. And so I've been breaking it up here instead of the sag mill. Uh, this way I get a lot more electro time per ore. And then when that finished, I finished all the electro time, I threw in the coal and I've been getting a lot of XP. So I threw it in there. And then meanwhile, I've been getting even more electro time. So now we're up to 47. Nice. Well, today I wanted to do some things to, to advance further in technology and in magic. I don't want to do a lot of of magic for this episode, but what I do want to do is uh, just to get started enough to do some technology. So I'm going to put this here. Just made the altar. It took a little bit of work. Had to make a witch's oven and um, smelt down some rowan. I'll leave this here for now. I put a fume funnel just to increase my chances of output. And I think it does increase the speed at which it processes just a little bit. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure because I didn't notice much of a difference when I added it. So let's get started. Um, in order to get the blood that I need for the altar, I need to make a self-sacrifice dagger. And I don't see it here. And I guess they changed the mechanics of how to start uh, blood magic but um, then there's the orbs and in order to make the the lowest tier oh here's something sacrificial orb this might be the one we need so we take a mana pearl and put blood over it yeah let's definitely do that but what I was thinking of is since I couldn't find it I actually did a brief overview before recording and I just found that now but I was looking at this weak blood orb, and it says we need 2,000 LP with a mana diamond. The mana diamond's easy, it's just uh, in the Batania. But I have mana diamonds in here. Here's one right here. And we can throw it on there, but then I thought, I don't have any method by which to get my blood in there. But then I remembered, I had witch's blood. And we could probably use that. Let's see if we have any conduits here. It's probably on me, though. Yeah, I think I have it on me. So we'll use this blood. It's probably a little bit faster. And um, we'll smack it in the back there. Let's see, do I have any conduit? I do. So we'll smack this back here. And put the drum on top. And drop down here. Let's extract out. And hopefully this blood is acceptable. Oop, it's not inputting. Maybe this has to be set. Insert. Still no good. I'm going to put the blood in the smeltery. And I think I can access right here. Uh, let's extract out. And into here. And that should be getting rid of some of it. And it is. Now we'll take a, what was it, a mana pearl? Let's check the orbs out. So it was this one, and it's a thousand over a mana pearl. All right, let's go check out the pearls, if we have one here. We don't, so let's make one. 
By the way, I wanted to mention that I've converted all of this base, well, at least these, into magical forest. So I've uh, carried these nodes from Silverwood nodes all around the base, um, pretty methodically and mathematically, so that it covers every square inch. Um, and gone as far up to this bridge. I didn't do this yet, and I didn't do that. I haven't felt the need for it. Uh, we do get snow up here still, so <clears throat> I cleared out the snow from the top of the main base. Still have to clear out the snow from the rest, and then I'll put the I'll continue moving the node around to these places. But let's see. So we want to put a thousand millibuckets of blood over this. And I guess it can go right here. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's get rid of that. Alright, get rid of that. <laughs> Let's put this down. And drop some blood on top. I'll put that blood on a drying rack. It'll serve for health. At least. Ooh, this is a lot. Okay, there it goes. We did some more. Alright, so we have this, which will help us to do some major damage. Now we can just extract this out. By the time we get back, it'll be done. Well, now to continue, we have the weak blood orb. And I just made these arcane stone blocks because I'm looking at this blood rune, which to get to the next tier of blood magic... We're going to need to surround the bottom base of this altar with it. So I see that we need stone. I have that. Waystone, which is flint into mana pool. And then any shard with a blank slate. Now, what's the blank slate? Is the arcane stone tier one uh, to make the blank slates. So if we drop these in here, we're going to have to keep it up. And there's one thing I could do. Oh. Boy, server's going to restart in a second. But let's get some hearts. And I have a few, quite a number of them from the mob farm. And I can actually recharge my health back with it. Little trick of the trade. Sort of a regen potion. It, re it increases 1,000. So it's awesome. Let's bring it down to less than 10. So that when we eat one, it'll bring us up 10 times more. So as long as we're below the top point, we can keep eating them and it'll be cool. Alright, let's drop this in here, get the waste stones back. And now, I believe we go here for the runes. Rune, and it's this one. We're going to need the two blank slates, that, yeah, I think we got everything. So, what are we missing then? I should be able to do it. Oh, there it goes, okay. I am missing something. Let's just occupy. And the slates go in the center. Weak blood orb. Oh, maybe the weak blood orb isn't permitted. I don't know if it's one of the choices. Yeah, there it is. So, oh, we're missing the uh, one of these guys here. We'll slap him down. And this guy above. We are missing these guys. I think these have to be bricks, though. Let's just check real quick. No, it's stone. Okay. Cool. I believe that I want to set this up permanently as our blood magic area. So, it'll just go here from now on. Let's just cover this up. And, yeah, something like that. So now we should be on the next tier. I can make the sigil to check out the level on this, but I'm pretty sure it's correct, so that's fine. All right, so let's move on to something else. Now, the reason why I made the altar today is to do a little bit of this. Let's move this here and grab this. I want to make this node stabilizer because I'd like to bring a node over here. And we're going to need some arcane stone bricks, which will require some arcane stone blocks in this pattern. So... That's easy enough to do. Let's move these here and grab ourselves a set of four. Now if we look back here, the node stabilizer, we can bring it over to the ME system. Block of quartz, gold, a piston, and some niter. Let me just check to see if I have any niter here. And I do. So we should be able to complete this. I'm pretty sure I have pistons in here. 
So let's see. If I bring it up here, node stabilizer. Oh, does it? It has to be an arcane workbench, though. So I'll have to bring it over. Let's see. Gold, a piston, niter on the bottom, these blocks on the side. What would be the rest? Maybe, uh, oh, the block of quartz. Cool. And insufficient V. I am missing Terra. 32. Uh, so that looks like I'm at 28. Just need a little bit more. Let me let me see if these have any. They did. Let's see. I'm at 32. Good. I think I should be able to do it now. Great. Awesome. So, um, yeah, I need to move this stuff somewhere else. Because we're going to need more room for this. I'm not sure exactly where. But we'll keep it in this quadrant of the room for now. Uh, let's move this here. Well, I just took the sparks off of these mana pools. Because it was going so slow by using this one. It's every five minutes that these push out. But now... Okay, we just got it. So let's uh, tear this back apart. Well, let's leave it there. Let's just finish this. Get the living stone. And uh, do I have any living stone? I have one more. <laughs> Gotta make more. Okay. Let's uh, take the magnet off. Drop this. And pow. No? Yeah, there. Okay. We have what we need and what I'm building now. Let's put the wand back. Don't need it. I'm going to need some of these runes. And... Um, Let's just take a look. What I was building was a runic matrix. We need to do infusion. And a lot of Infinity Evolved requires a lot of infusion. So I just made the mana. I've had these already stored. I made another set of these blood runes. Wait, did I pick it up? I didn't pick it up yet. Let's uh, come in here. It should be eight. There it is. So we'll make those. We have four. Yeah, I think that's what we needed, right? So now we can get rid of these and pull up a runic matrix again. So we need four. This is going to go into the Batania. We're still needing the Attune Stone. So we're going to need a Mana Diamond, a Whiff of Magic, and a Lava Bucket. Here's a bucket. And uh, let's see. So this. We're going to need a Diamond. And what was the thing on top? The Whiff of Magic. Up there. Let's grab a diamond. From here. Alright. Drop the... This in there. And now we should have our Tombstone. Great. So now mana. Air, earth, fire, water. Uh, let's see. Mana. Earth. Air. Fire. And water. Okay, yeah, it does accept. Excellent. So we'll give this some time and hopefully this and that spreader will both work together to make this a quick job. All right, this is about finished. It's got a little bit of a sliver to finish before we're done. So I'm going to grab a living rock and we're going to activate it. Here we go. Made some more. All right. Now, while this is finishing up, it's almost there. This actually took a really long time. And you can see that this pool is just about drained up. It was pretty full. But it, this has been feeding as well. So it's definitely more than a pool. Maybe a pool and a half is what you need. So if we go to the infusion section of our Thomonomicon, uh, you'll see that we've built the runic matrix. The next thing we need to build are these arcane pedestals, which require these arcane stone blocks in this uh, I-beam shape. Now, I don't know how many of these we need, and I think it's interchangeable. There's like... The more you add, the more uh, potential you have to craft more complicated structures. Since I'm not doing anything complicated for the first, since this is my first time getting as far as this, I'm just going to make uh, a few of these. 
I don't know how many. So let's just spread out the juices and go for a symmetrical number like eight should be okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just taking a stab at it. I was thinking maybe in this area, this central area for magic, for the infusion altar, because all of this is magic, this section. Maybe I'll move the Batania over a little bit, or maybe an offshoot of an island, another one of these, um, these dome pads. I forget what I call these things. Pods, I think it was. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably expand another pod out here for Batania and have it separated. Although, I've been using a lot of Batania, so this might be a, a pack that requires a whole lot of Batania. Let's grab the, the wand, and we can activate it. Here we go. Magnet is off. Spread that out and grab that. Now, what did we make, actually? I totally forgot what we were making. Ah, the Runic Matrix. Okay. Yeah, I believe that was it. So, we'll place this down in the center right on top of my world anchor. Uh, we'll give it a space. I think it requires a space. And the runic matrix above that. Go into hover. Let's put it there and then we can get rid of this one. I guess I assume that it should be one space away from the pedestal, but according to the book, it looks like it should be right off the pedestal. Look how close that is. I didn't think they would uh, have it that close. So let's put this again. See, that looks really tight, but I guess that's the way it goes. We'll put these on top. And now, hopefully we'll do this. Oh yeah! First time I've ever acted, activated this infusion altar. That's awesome. All right, guys, I am the last person you want to ask about the Thumbcraft business, but from what I understand, you have to, in order for us to do the next thing that I want to build, which is Thaumium Caps for my wand, uh, we need three spaces away from the center ped pedestal. So the pedestals have are, are actually five spaces or five blocks away from the center pedestal with three spaces empty between. And you'll notice that this is one, two, and three spaces away from the center pedestal. So to do this, we're going to grab... Um, Actually, we're going to have to get these balance shards, which I made, and this was made, let's see, this was uh, quite a number of minutes ago. Let me just check on my pickaxe, though. I think I better charge this while we're waiting. Um, yeah, we have to cook this up. I've already cooked up, I believe, one or two. We put this in here, and it'll go into the ME system as Salus Mundus, I believe. Yeah, there it is. And it's coming in. So we're going to need three for each one. So we'll grab the other. And the Thaumium I do have in the other chest. So we'll pick those up. And then we can start our craft. So we're going to need ten of these. Since each one is five. Let's get rid of this. And we'll make a couple of caps. Oh, we need the wand. Alright, there it is. One and a two. Hopefully we're going to have enough for this craft. I don't know that we do. But we'll put one in at a time. And now we can spread these out as long as they're equal and even and symmetrical. I don't have any stabilization on this yet. I didn't put any skulls down or candles or anything like that. So hopefully this will go okay. The book says this is a moderate, a moderate uh, design. So it could go bad. <laughs> but here we are, and we need some Orum and Potentia. I've supplied that in those jars there. Let's give this a try. Now the Thaumium will be placed here, and we will grab the wand. And remember, this is my first time, so it may be old hat for you guys, but I'm excited about this. Let's see how this goes. Is it up here? Oh, did I grab it again? Oh, I did. Alright, so I guess I gotta hit the runic matrix up top. There it goes. Okay, now things can go bad because there's no stabilization here. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully things won't fall off their pedestals. If they do, I just have to remember to put it down. Oh, we got a problem. Alright, so I, I don't know what to do about this, but I'm guessing we cover it up. Oh, that's not what I wanted. No, uh... How do I get rid of this taint? Oh, there we go. 
Okay, now we place one back down. And where are the other ones? Did they get chewed up already? So the other ones worked, I guess. Because I don't see any taint on them. There's lightning. I don't think that's a good thing. Uh, let's see. Come on, take it. <laughs> Why isn't it taking? Oh boy, this isn't working out too well. At least there's no more taint. I mean, I guess that's good. Or is it that it finished? I wonder if it finished. Oh. Let's see. No, it's inert. So I lost all of those. I think what I'm going to need to do is set this up for stabilization before I go on to my first craft. Alright guys, very quickly, I set up a, a temporary respawner here just to get some wisps and get some essences because I was running out of the method by which I was getting the aurum. Um, in case you need to know, I placed coal blocks here. I guess I put them away already. But these coal blocks, silk touched, will give you potentia, which is great. I have actually a filled jar of potentia. I put it over here. Uh, here it is. It's filled and it actually has more in the system. Couldn't get rid of it. Uh, that's how much it produces. Just a little bit of coal and got a full jar out of it. And then we have the orum here. This should be enough. I was looking over the, um, let's see, the thaumium. This is a day later, by the way. That's why I'm uh, getting back into this. And let's see what it is. It was 12. So we're going to need 12. That's 24 total for this. And 6 times 2 is 12 of that orum. And we have more than that. We have 25. So we have more than double. Now, here's what I did as far as getting some symmetry and some stabilization. Um, it's pretty symmetrical. I mean, if you want something symmetrical, leave it to me. But um, as far as the mechanics of this, I don't know if this is the right way to do it and if I went overboard and where I put them. But I put them even between the, the uh, center pedestals. Um, I'm thinking this is okay, and I believe you can go out 13 blocks from the center, this being the center, so even at a radius, and even below. Uh, some people put it below to get it out of the way so it doesn't look so weird, but I don't mind because I can fly to the center and tap it up here. It'll be simple. So, um, let's get the Salas Mundus, and I had to craft some more balance shards to make them, and I cooked them up, but I didn't retrieve them. Here we go. And um, we'll get some symmetry going. What we want to do is go in a triangle shape. That's as symmetrical as you can go. And notice that the pedestals are three blocks between the center and where they're placed. But between the items themselves is an even amount of space. So this is equal to this here, from here to there the Salas Mundus to Salas Mundus, as well as from this Salas Mundus to here. All of it is an equal amount of space. So now let's get the um, one thaumium cap in the center. We'll get the wand and hopefully I have a recharge wand. I've been scouting about doing other stuffs. So I'm hoping I have enough of everything I need. Um, let's see, how do I check this again? I don't remember. Oh, here it is. So, close to 50 on just about everything except for the red one. I don't even remember what the red one is. Let's see if we have the book here. Um, take a quick look and see if we can do this. Uh, here it is. And uh, Okay, so it's going to draw from here. I guess the wand is not necessary for what we're going to do because... The only uh, essences are being drawn from the jars themselves, not from my tapping the arcane infuser. I guess this only activates it. So I'm guessing that the, the wand could probably be zero, and it'll still work, as long as it's a wand. 
Hopefully there's stabilization here, let's see. And I don't know how to tell when it's done. I'm assuming when all of these are taken. But I'm hoping nothing drops out of their place. One of them was chewed up. But I don't see any uh, taint there, so I'm assuming it's all good. Yeah, well the music stopped, or the sound effect, so I'm guessing we're done. And yes, it is done. Awesome. So that's the way to do it. Alright, let's do it again, and we'll get the other one. There were a couple little changes that I had to make. Some more symmetry things. The reason why I needed to do this is because the next craft that I'm about to do, by the way, I got both charged uh, thaumium caps. The next uh, craft that I want to do is in a sort of a star shape, but not five points, it's seven points. There are seven ingredients for this next craft. And to space them out evenly, or as evenly as possible, I sort of had to make some, make some more pedestals and sort of uh, figure out what is uh, an equidistant from each one. So you'll notice there's three diagonal blocks here, and I don't think you're supposed to count by diagonals, but I'm just going to go for it. So I'm not sure this is going to work, but we'll give it a try. Uh, so what we're doing is the silverwood wand core which somebody recommended uh, in comment so I'm gonna grab one silverwood log and we'll smack it in the center here let's get it started and see if this works uh, so I took a lot of time setting up all the uh, essences each one of them come from the ethereal essences that I collected from my wit spawner and this is quite some time later uh, I should have more than enough. The book says that you need nine of each. And these are the ones that I've gathered. So I have more than enough. I'm just worried that there... You know, the only thing I'm worried about here is the symmetry issue. Being that these aren't spaced out evenly. But we'll see. Let's get ready for, for any uh, special incidences here. Now, okay, so two of them are gone. It's working on that one now. Yeah, it's speeding up now. Okay. It seems to be going in an order, and it seems to be working. Once this one's gone, there's no symmetry issue to worry about, so it should be taken. And there it is. We have our wand core. Awesome. Now, to connect these, uh, do we use the arcane? I don't know. Let's see. I'm assuming you do and there it is oh insufficient V so we're missing something <laughs> we're missing all of these well how am I gonna craft it if I'm at max with my wand I can't go any more than that I guess I'm gonna need another wand before I can craft this particular wand I need 51 oh you know what one thing that might help is if we build some clothing to help with our wand because we need 51.3 oh actually 54 total I guess this gives the discount that's probably what it is there's a 95 percent average V cost discount so it'll cost only 51 instead and all I have in this wand is 50 so that being the case I am very close I only need one for each one um, one way to do this is to make the boots of the traveler or the, the clothing, the rest of the, the wear. I guess I'll do that off camera. We're over time already. But guys, I want to remind you that, um, ask me anything down below in the description. There's a link for it. If you want to ask a question for my 6,000 subscriber special, I'll post the answer on that video. Um, and guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.